Hey, welcome to another video with Dr. Guillemet. I thought we would have some fun today. I created this image of uh, some of the DC Justice League characters if they were in high school. So that's going to be the setup for our problem today, right? The Hero High Test. Um, it was the big day of the physical fitness test and the students, um, DC's finest young heroes are all seated in Professor Wildcat's classroom. The atmosphere is tense, but the heroes were ready to tackle the challenge. And so after they finish their test, the data is given in this Excel spreadsheet. And we can see the heroes that took the test and the score that they got on Professor Wildcat's uh, physical fitness exam. After the test, Professor Wildcat gathered the scores and he wants to calculate the 95% confidence interval for the mean test scores to understand how well all classes might perform in the future on this particular test. So he entered the scores into an Excel spreadsheet, which I'm going to show you how to upload. I want you to follow along the steps with me. You should head over to jamovi.org. Um, it's a cloud-based service. You don't have to download anything, but your experience will be just like what I'm going to show you in the actual app. Ready? Let's go over there. Okay, so here we are over in the Jamovi app. Again, this will look very much like what you have in the cloud-based version. Now, I do have some modules installed, and we are going to use one of those modules today, but I'll show you how to do that when we get there. Now, what I do want to do is I click on the hamburger over here, and so when I click on the hamburger, I can... Uh, do and open and what I'm going to do is from my downloads I have my confidence intervals for means data set and this is a CSV file okay so now I have the data in here and what you'll notice is this is a nominal level variable student which it should be but score is not this is an actual continual variable so I'm going to go over to uh, data and we're going to hit setup and now I'm going to change score to a continuous variable and this will be very important in the future. So now my score is set up as a continuous variable. Now the first thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that this is relatively normal and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore this as a descriptive and I'm going to go ahead and take the score and send it over to variable. And what you can see is the mean and the median are almost exactly the same value. That's one of the first things that you want to look at is to make sure the mean and the median are almost the same value. The other thing that I want to look at is probably the histogram and the box plot. The box plot to make sure there aren't any outliers and the histogram to make sure that it's fairly um, unimodal and symmetric. Now what you'll notice with this histogram is it's kind of hard to tell uh, because there's so few values here. But this is looking pretty good and the mean and the median are close together. There's no outlier and so I'm going to be okay with this. All right. So now what I want to do is actually go over to the t-test and now I'm going to go over to t-test. And at the bottom is the one sample t-test. Now, for the one sample t-test, I have to have a continuous variable. And so that's why it was really important to change score to that continuous variable. I need that ruler in both. Now, it is going to be a student's t-test because I don't know what sigma is. And I don't have a sample size that is large enough to use a normal distribution. So I'm going to use student's t. But what I want is this confidence interval. So I'm going to click on mean difference and the confidence interval. And what you'll notice over here is it gives us the lower value of that confidence interval, 86.3, and the upper uh, value of that confidence interval, right? Now, here I do see what the mean and the standard deviation are. And so... Um, let's say that I didn't have the score over here. Um, I can use the ESCI module. And so to add this module, you're going to go over here to modules. You're going to go to the Jamovi library and you can just put in ESCI and 
That is our estimation statistics with confidence interval and you would just install it. Now mine is installed, so I don't have to, to do that. So that's already there. So when I click on the ESCI, I can do a few things. I can describe it, but what I really want is this means and medians for a single group. And so if I click on it, again, I have this ruler, I need a continuous variable. I can click on score and make that the outcome variable. I get this density plot over here that's showing that things are relatively unimodal and symmetric. I'm not seeing any issues over here. And I'm getting that same 86.3 and 91.1 um, confidence interval here. Now, if I wanted to, there is an extra function here that analyze summary data. And if we click on it, I can actually put the median, the standard deviation, and the sample size in here. Now my outcome variable is going to be score, so let me go ahead and do that. Now remember, the mean was 88.7, so let's go ahead and put that in, 88.7. And my standard deviation was the 3.40, and my sample size, my number of values is 10, and so I would put that in there. And so once I do that, um, I can go down and now here it is. Here's my lower limit. It's 86.3 and my upper limit of 91.1. So that's a great way. The ESCI is a great way to analyze the full data or analyze a summary of the data. Um, it gives you a nice picture of some of these things. And so that is the way that I would do it in Jamovi. Um, I'm going to switch over and that's how I would do it in Jamovi. So now that we're back over in our document, I just wanted to tell you how to interpret this. Um, we are 95% confident that the true mean score for all physical fitness tests that Professor Wildcat would give in this particular class is between the 86.3 if I round it and 91.1 again if I round it. If you learned anything from this video, that makes me happy and I'll see you in the next one.